general purpose, shall we say, a generic cockpit. Okay. You know, so you can fly anything on this flight simulator, as you know, mm -hmm. from the space shuttle, okay, right down to any tiny little aeroplane. Mm -hmm. Whatever aircraft are available on flight sim is available uh, on this, okay. and the controls are generic. Mm -hmm. You see, for instance, every aircraft has. Every aircraft has yeah. a control column. Okay? okay. Every aircraft has a control column. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. A stick. Okay. But some aircraft, they don't have a stick. They have a yoke. Yes. For that purpose, what I did, I made a yoke. Uh -huh. And in two minutes, you can change over from the stick okay. to yoke. To the yoke. Okay. You get the point? Yeah. The controls remain the same. Uh -huh. And for all the connections here, which I had to have all these switches yes. on the yoke, yes. I made a general purpose connector here. Okay. You got it? Yes. So I disconnect that connector and connect all these switches to that point over here. Uh -huh. Take out this fellow with one screw okay. and put this one in there. Okay. And I'm, I've converted myself to an airliner. Acha. Okay? Mm -hmm. What about helicopters? Yes. Now, as you know, helicopters have got one special, yes. uh, shall I say, uh, feature. Yes. And that feature is the collective, you know, for mm -hmm. lifting the aircraft. Yes, the yes, 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 yes. You know, you know that you have flown the bell. Yes. Here, I've got it here. Here. I have connected... Okay. Yeah. This is the collective, you see? Yes, yes. From the collective, you can lift it here. Yes. And you can select whether you have to use the normal throttle, which is here. This mm -hmm. is the normal throttle. Yes. Right? Yes. You can select between the normal throttle and the collective. Okay. If you're flying a helicopter, you will select this one. If you're flying a normal aircraft, you will select this the, one. Yes. So this is a general purpose control. Okay. And this controls most common small aircraft. Yes. Right? And as you see, every aircraft has, uh, it has an undercarriage up and down lever. Yes. It has a flap up and down lever. lever. It has air brake. Yes. It has all the lighting system, uh -huh. navigation light, beacon lights, etc. Yeah. Right? Uh, panel lights and all. Here it has the autopilot complete. Okay. You can select all the items of the autopilot from here. Uh -huh. These controls are for the motion. Yes. To put the motion on and, on, off, and off. on and off, okay? Okay. And there are various uh, safety systems here. Uh -huh. Here you can put the motion on and off from here. Okay. To get in and out of the cockpit, there is a uh, lever here. Mm -hmm. This lever here mm -hmm. switches the motion off and gives support to the cockpit while you are getting inside. Okay. See, here you have some some wheels here. Yeah. What these wheels do, mm -hmm. they rest it on the floor so that when you get in and get out, you do not put stress on the two motors. Yes. These are the two motors which are used for the pitch and the roll. Uh -huh. See this? This is for the roll. Okay. The roll is transmitted via cable to the frame. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And the pitch motor is here. Okay. See the pitch motor? Yeah. The pitch motor moves the cockpit, this inner frame. Okay. Here's the inner frame. Uh -huh. See the two frames? Outer frame yeah. and inner frame. That is the pitch motor okay. and this is the roll motor. Uh -huh. And these are software controlled. Okay. Yes. The signal comes from the uh, FS program. Okay. The signal comes from there. Uh -huh. Right? And goes through a special driver. Okay. The driver interprets the position of the cockpit mm -hmm. and uh, feeds the signal to software okay. which drives hardware mm -hmm. and finally drives the motors, motors to the required positions. positions. Okay. The position is not very simple in a simulator, you know. Yes. You see, when you make a movement, mm -hmm. what happens is, suppose you make a right bank. Yeah. As long as the aircraft is banking, mm -hmm the motor will turn. As soon as the aircraft stops banking, yes. even though you continue the turn, mm -hmm. slowly the simulator returns to the normal. Neutral. Okay. Neutral. 
Mm. The reason for that is uh, because um, you should not feel mm -hmm. that the simulator is moving in the other direction. Mm. But your mind has already established that this, it is moving this way. Yeah. So even though it has gone straight, your mind is still in a in a curve like okay, this. Okay. Okay. So that's the difference between a simulator and a normal thing. Otherwise, normally what should happen? Right bank, right turn. Left bank, left turn. Okay. But this is not like this. Right bank, stop, slowly come back. Comes back. Okay. And you still feel that you are turning. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's the beauty of that. Okay. Okay. So that's the situation. And how about this this speaker? That is not a speaker. Yeah. <gasps> it's not a speaker. No. It's... That is tactile transducer which introduces vibration according to the vibration, vibration. created by the engine, created by the flight, created by whatever. Achha. Those are low frequency units which which run between 10 hertz and 100 hertz. Okay. There are two of them. One is directly under the seat. Mm -hmm. So you can feel the vibrations in your bottom. Okay. The other is on the floor. Mm -hmm. on the cockpit floor okay. so you can feel the vibrations on the cockpit floor here's the uh -huh. cockpit floor okay, okay. Here's the cockpit floor and here you have a normal uh, sound system okay. which gives you the sound of the engine mm -hmm. and the sound of the uh, speakers and atc and everything plus in addition to that what i have done akram mm -hmm. here i have put in an internal system here yeah so that i can talk to this person from outside. Outside, yeah. Okay. If this was a two-seater, it's great. Mm -hmm. But this is not a two-seater. So what you see here on the screen, I will see on this screen. Okay. So I can talk to you, I can fly, I can teach you how to fly while you're sitting inside. Mm -hmm. It is not better than a two-seater, but it is better better than nothing. Yes. You know? So recently I just put this as a two-way communication system, that's all. Uh -huh. Which I can talk to you and you can talk to me. Uh, the most uh, uh, the most innovative thing that I have done, Akram, is mm -hmm. yeah, it is still to be completed. Mm -hmm. I've added one more motor here. You didn't ask yes. me what this motor yes, is. Yes, yes. You know what that motor is? No. That, according to the amount of G you feel. Okay. You know the G force. Yes. You feel when the aircraft moves. Mm -hmm. Or when the aircraft takes a particular maneuver. Yeah. You feel G forces. Yeah. What happens here, this motor mm -hmm. tightens the belt. Achha. It tightens the belt on your shoulder. So you have a feeling that you are actually pulling the G. Whereas in a static item, it's not possible to pull G. Yes. But I have made the G for that. Okay. Okay. So that's a G motor. Mm -hmm. And it works according to the aircraft position. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Ah, the most critical thing I made, Akram, was the rudder pedals. Now, the rudder pedals were so critical because mm -hmm. uh, very stupid thing happened. In a jet aircraft, when you're going running down the runway, yeah. you know, you're running down the runway, if you have lined it up in a particular direction, it should continue going straight in that direction. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing, because of the inaccuracy of the positioning of the pedals, Okay. It will slightly go this way or it will go that way mm -hmm. and this is not correct according to a jet. So for that I had to put a special mechanism here yeah. to self-center, mm -hmm. to self-center the whole thing. Okay. You can see what happens, see, can you see that? Yeah, yeah. See how it self-centers yes, now? Yes, yes. It always comes back uh -huh. to the same position. Same position. Now the control system is completely made by me. All the potentiometers are located here, mm -hmm. here. And here. Okay. This is the roll potentiometer. Yeah. This is the pitch potentiometer, mm -hmm. and this is the rudder potentiometer. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. So I've got uh, the controls located over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, most of the keyboard controls. Yeah. I found them to be a little unreal, so I brought all the keyboard controls via this special TVS type keyboard. Yes. You know, mechanical. It's got, it's got yes, mechanical it's a mechanical buttons. I took out the connections and I brought them here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I take out all the connections through this one point here. Okay. Okay. Now, how is this operated? I'll show you. Just yes. stay there itself. Yeah. Uh, the um, 
This is the main computer yeah. which has the FS on board. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. This is the AMD 3800 with okay. an 8800 GT uh, graphics card. Okay. And uh, 2 MB of. Uh, 2 uh, GB of RAM. RAM, okay. Okay? Okay. So that's the system. Now, these, this item yeah. is a special item. Mm -hmm. This is where the signal from the serial cable of this mm -hmm. gives the motion information mm -hmm. or the motion cue information mm -hmm. to this unit. Okay. What this unit does, mm -hmm. it lights up. Is the power gone off? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! This is a very rare thing. Okay. okay. So this is—it hasn't gone off for three days now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it 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 gives it to this unit here mm -hmm. from the serial cable. Okay. Now this unit processes those uh, cues, okay. which tell it to move left, right, up, down, whatever, mm -hmm. and gives it to a power system here. Okay. The power system drives the motor Mot in whichever direction you require. Okay. You get it? Mm -hmm. So that's the idea there. This is just a general power supply unit mm -hmm. which gives me 12 volts to, to operate the transducer circuits and uh, other things. You know? Okay, okay. Okay. The whole thing lies here. Uh -huh. This unit alone with the software, mm -hmm. this unit alone with the software must be costing close to 40,000 rupees. Okay. Because of the, the software is quite expensive. The software itself is some 5,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it is, you know, extra. The hardware, the hardware. yeah. The hardware is not that much, but uh, still, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's the situation. Okay. And anything else you wish to... No. I kept an external system also available here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kept mm -hmm. an external monitor. Mm -hmm. I have an additional monitor here. Mm -hmm. And what is here? Here is a TFT? Ah, here is a, no, it's hmm. an ordinary um, monitor. L L LCD monitor. Okay, LCD. Yeah, it's an LCD monitor. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an LCD monitor, nothing special. It's, uh, I recently changed it. Okay. It was this monitor before, it was a 4 by 3 mm -hmm. I changed it to a 16 by 9 here. Okay. I got a much better view, span view. Yeah. You know, I'm so sorry this thing has gone off. My no, 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 no. You can have a cup of tea.